Right, here we go then. This is a poem about the seaside. It's called Glass Beach. Waves gently crash in distant froth, salty brine on drawback sand. Beach pebbles rattle, smooth, curved and worn upon shoreline wash. People gossip, saunter back to vans full of sandy hope and scratch legs with brush off hands on sunburn red. Fish swim batter fat to be served with chips and curry pot sauce. An alcoholic sea laps upon a beach of glass broken bottles. Gothic scene. Beneath gas lamps, black night skies, to weary sounds of distant cries. We walk streets, cobbled stones, through darkened alleys, squalid zones. In candlelight, misery strains through smudged glass of dirty panes. From lonely rooms in dancing light, that calls out into the night. A lack of hope in darkened shame, black of night in cold and rain. Drips from eaves to an icicle morning. Clear and cold and pointing down, austere spikes hang down as rods or bars in front of pane glass window. Okay then, here we go. Sentenced to death. Hangs from the gallows of creative writing, swinging from the gibbet of sentence construction, with a grammar that stands on the essence of her voice, the alphabet hung as a necklace around the vocality of her wordy neck. She'd wanted to swallow all the letters in quick succession, punctuation as well, but that would have been suicide. Something that she said. She had so much potential it sometimes got her down. She didn't like her work, but it got her into town. It really was a problem, but she chose to ignore it. Like clothes that don't fit, stubbornly she wore it. In a mad rush, she did a foolish thing. In a split second, a split thought would bring. An indecision, she made a silly choice. She opened up her mouth to articulate her voice. Across the smoke-filled room, sounds were drunken as the drinkers sat and chatted, slumped and sunken. The Demise of Spider-Man and the Fly Girl From between moving clouds out of blue sky, way beyond, the sun shines through temperamentally down into our pensive atmosphere, onto a capitalistic spider as he spins his business web from the branches of the system's tree, on a poor fly trapped in the bondage of regulations and eaten up in her own sexuality. But subversive winds of change blows through the branches, destroys the spider's web of gain. Then crying rain comes roaring down, and the spider is washed up, down into a muddy drain. Trouble. Dozy doors snore and swing, ascending steps, taps, footsteps echo. Evidently trying to do our jobs, fingers stain white lead sheets. Movements are traced. Inquisitions follow us home into dreams, restless sleep. Imagination bangs its head on smooth, hard-walled corridors, and through an endless, hapless maze of dreams, life's dignity screams in silence. 